Well, hello, ebook makers. Um, I'm here to talk to you about the fixed layout format of ebook uh, today. And um, I've got up on the screen at the moment my Apple Books with uh, a book that I've previously created. I want to sort of start with this just to show you uh, what we're trying to build. Um, I've enlarged this up uh, somewhat so you can get the details. Just listen to the music for a moment. Okay, I'm going to use the pause button uh, so that I can talk to you a little bit more about this now. Um, music is very nice, but we, we're not here for that. Um, so we're going to, um, now I'm just going to explain to you how this is created. Just dig in, first of all, to a few uh, details. Now, this is obviously the opening uh, screen. As you can see, it's a double page. It's, a, it's effectively a landscape built of two single pages just like you'd expect a um, spread to be looking like in a print book effectively. We have a table of contents, just like um, as you would imagine before. Um, I'm just gonna go through a few of the details that we've got in here just to show you some of the features. Um, here, obviously, we have um, the uh, copyright page and then we have over on the right-hand side an image. Now, um, this image is more than at first you might think. Um, if we actually click on the image, it goes through click through a sequence of portraits of Shakespeare. Um, more on that kind of thing, obviously, later. Um, now there's another feature here where we can actually animate and build up a, a screen uh, like this, just going through the various uh, images and the, and the text. Now we have um, the text proper. So now we're looking at the, the Life of Shakespeare text, as you've previously done in your print book. Um, images can be enlarged, uh, but this is a special feature that we, we have to build in, as you'll see in a moment. So we add the image and then we click to remove it. Then we can go on to the next page. Let's just have another look, a few things here. Now, obviously, footnotes are literally footnotes. They're not changed into pop-up notes. They're just literally what you see in the print layout is what you're going to get. Images and various pages as they appear can be transitioned. So you can see this one uh, actually faded into view. I'll just go back and show you that. So as we go through the book, images can be made to fade in. We can also include video. Uh, I'll just show you a small clip of this. So this is a video added onto the page. And it's a standard video, that is to say, I can still enlarge it up if I, if I want to. It's a small clip, obviously. Hippolyta, I wooed you with my sword and won your love, doing you injuries. Ha. Okay, now um, here we have a, a full size image. So the images can bleed right out to the edge of the page. And this is obviously significant different from the reef level. Uh, we can also add sound effects. So if I click on the image. A nice sound of the forest in the springtime. Um, here's another thing. Obviously, uh, you'll notice there the image uh, coming onto the screen. So we have some transitions there. But also, we can also build into the pages uh, scrollable text. So here we have um, the um, the, the story of the play from the Lamb's Tales. In fact, that's something I must uh, put a title to. I haven't done that yet. So here we can scroll through the text and read it. So you can provide lots of uh, supplementary material this way. And then just one more feature I wanted to show you, which we can also add audio anywhere within the play uh, or within the pages. So I'm just going to click on this now. Four days will quickly steep themselves in night. Four nights will quickly dream away the time. And then the moon, like to a silver bow new bent in heaven, shall behold the night of our solemnities. Okay, uh, and let's just um, have a look at the table of contents. Just uh, maybe just go into one more uh, act just to show you how that works. Um, there's quite a lot of other features that, that I intend to add to this, but this is really the end of this particular episode. Um, because my intention will be to go back and then show you how some of these uh, features have been achieved by using InDesign. That would be the next episode.